I, like many of you, love listening to music. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do when I'm at the gym, when I'm going for a walk, when I'm at work. I just love putting my headphones on and love listening to all kinds of different music from all kinds of different genres and different artists. And there's been a lot of talk in the self-improvement space over the last couple of years. Um, people saying things like, is music actually good for you? And things like, you listen to too much music. And there's a lot of YouTubers talking about this right now. So I wanted to just make a quick video kind of talking about my experience with listening to music, having been on self-improvement for three years, and also some of the research I've done into it. I listened to Andrew Huberman's most recent podcast on listening to music and the best sort of protocols when it comes to what type of music to listen to um, for like productivity and going to the gym and just all things uh, self-development related so we'll get straight into it what is actually the problem with listening to music so the main things that i hear a lot of people talking about and what i've experienced as being the actual problem with listening to music is that it's kind of a bit like social media right like tiktok and instagram it's a source of instant gratification and it's a source of dopamine so i'll give you an example to kind of show you and demonstrate one of the problems with music when you're at the gym and you really want to get a really good workout in maybe it's leg day or something and you know that it's going to be a tough session but you know you try to grow your legs you try to improve your physique so you're gonna go do the leg day and right before you get onto the like leg press machine or squat rack whatever you're starting on you open open up your phone open up spotify or apple music whatever it is and you put your headphones on and you start scrolling through all the different songs that you want to listen to and you start sort of queuing songs you know oh i like this song or i'm really into this song at the moment or i'm really into this artist at the moment or this guy's just released a new album so i'll listen to that album whilst i'm at the gym and you end up spending a bunch of time and a bunch of like energy thinking about okay what music shall i listen to what should, what shall i listen to for the best workout and it, it kind of becomes like a bit of a dopamine thing and then whilst you're sort of in between sets you know you do a, you do a hard set of leg press and in between you're just opening up your phone and you're sort of changing the song and you're switching the playlist and maybe repeating the same song you've just listened to and you sort of just end up on your phone sort of changing the music and you know it kind of ends up becoming a little bit like instagram or tiktok it's just a distraction and it ends up taking away from the session i mean i know personally when i'm at the gym if i can have like a session where i just put a playlist on put my headphones on and i don't touch my phone for the rest of the session and i just get on with it they are usually by far the best training sessions that i have Whereas the sessions where I'm not really feeling quite up to it, like kind of this week, I've had a bit of a cold, not feeling too well. So I've found myself just going on my phone for like five minutes in between sets and it literally affects my workout. It like makes me more tired just scrolling through my phone and it makes me not want to do the next set. But some of the other kind of issues with music I'll talk about briefly now is music that has lyrics in it from like rappers and stuff. <clears throat> so if you're listening to music with lyrics in it a lot of the lyrics in that song will be rappers talking about how much money they make how many girls have fucked all these different kind of um lyrics that really just are quite you know degenerate you know a lot of guys talking about all the money they've made and the fancy cars that they're driving and this uh these kind of lyrics it kind of bleeds into the background of your kind of overall thinking it's quite hard to explain but if you sort of are constantly listening to like drake and I don't know, like Travis Scott or whatever, all these different artists, right, who are saying these these extravagant things that they do. Um, it kind of makes you feel like, well, shit, this guy's obviously making loads of money. He's got a really cool life. And I'm just here, like, listening to his music, kind of, like, worshipping him, right? I'm helping him in his, like, success in his business. And it can kind of make you feel a bit inferior. Like, why am I not at that level yet? Why have I not made the money yet? Why am I not... You know doing the things that they say and i totally get like a lot like i i'm i'm guilty of this as well because i like listen to all kinds of different music a lot of the music i listen to is like rap music and like music from artists that are sort of talking about this thing in like very explicit content and while that doesn't really bother me at the time and when i'm listening to it i don't really care if you do stop and kind of think about it you're sort of being fed this narrative um, of like an expectation of where you should be it kind of starts setting the bar quite high for you in terms of like the success you know they're talking about how many millions they're earning and like all these different cars that they're driving that are worth like millions of pounds and it's almost like that becomes your new normal level of like goal of success it's just like materialistic stuff rolexes cars and just that kind of stuff on like money and status and that kind of being bled into the back of your mind constantly every day for hours like through the music you're listening to that's 
to me, it's it's got to have some kind of negative effect. It's got to make you look at yourself and think, shit, I'm not really doing well enough. The third problem with listening to a lot of music is just your productivity. I mean, I'm guilty of this when I first sort of started out in making uh, money online and try to set up businesses on this YouTube channel. I would, you know, I would get into my Premiere Pro editing software, ready to edit a video and sit down and really concentrate. And I would put my headphones on and put music on in the background because I thought that would help me sort of concentrate on you know getting into the flow state and really getting on with my work but what it actually did was just make me keep going over to spotify and changing the song and i just ended up sitting there like listening to music enjoying myself getting no work done um and i think it is kind of a known thing now if you've tried this it's very very rare that if you're actually listening to music it's going to help you be more productive and focused because the reality of it is if you're working on something that requires a lot of focus and discipline then it's probably not going to be like it will be it could be a fun task for you but it also might be a bit of a drag like a bit of a chore like me editing a video it's fun but sometimes i'm like ah, i really can't be bothered editing this video right now but i'll just go and do it anyway and listening to music just makes that kind of task that shouldn't be fun fun but it doesn't really make me productive i end up just sort of sitting there listening to music and that's not what we want to do i need to get the task done so those are kind of the three biggest problems that i think can happen with music it can take away from your workouts at the gym it can distract you and make you less productive and it can just kind of put thoughts into your mind and expectations from the like specifically lyric based uh, songs i just want to talk about the solution to this kind of music listening problem and um, how it's going to help you because i've been on self-improvement now for like three years and i've been listening to music for that entire time i'm a huge music fan and i want to just tell you what i've done to kind of tackle each of these problems and my experience and what i think the best sort of way you can do this so the biggest and most impactful thing for me that has helped me with sort of the whole listening to music thing is swapping out the kind of music i listen to now this isn't completely swapping out genre or style or anything like that for me I've just kind of stopped listening to music that has a lot of lyrics in it, especially rap. So I used to listen to a lot of rap music, right? Uh, Travis Scott, Drake and like Post Malone and all these kind of songs, right? And I still like listening to those artists, don't get me wrong, I still like them. But I do feel like when I was listening to those people, I really couldn't concentrate on anything else. I was just listening to, the, to them to listen to them and have fun with it, which is totally fine if you want to do that. But if you sort of want to listen to a bit of music whilst you're at the gym doing a workout or whilst you're um, working on something or you kind of just want to listen to music without having to have all of the kind of thoughts and ideas being brought in from the song, like, you know, that you need this much money to be like, successful and, and this car to, to drive and this kind of stuff you know you you want to get away from all that kind of scene of just the materialistic kind of indulgent stuff i what i've done is the biggest change is to switch over completely to instrumental music so it's quite rare that i listen to music with lyrics in it now and like rap music and stuff if i'm going to listen to music i listen to a lot of instrumental music now this might not work for you because i've always been a big fan of um, instru instrumental music so things like dubstep and drum and bass and like just music that just doesn't have any lyrics in it. Um, I've always liked songs like that, and it just gets rid of that problem of like thoughts being put into your head and ideas being kind of um, fed into your brain in the background, right? Because there's no lyrics in there, there's no ideas or anything being conveyed, it's just sound. And a tip I'll give you with the instrumental music, if you are in self-improvement and you want some kind of music that is kind of low key and just kind of a nice sound to listen to that is going to help with your productivity there's two kinds of music you can listen to that will actually help your productivity and your creativity so the first piece of music that helps my actual creativity and productivity is it sounds silly but it's these african uh, drum beats like these tribal um beats um, i might try and find some on like this free music uh so software that i've got to, to put in for you but um i'll get a screenshot of it from spotify and this is the playlist i listen to this playlist is really good it's literally just like an african tribal kind of music and it's it sounds weird right when i'm talking about it but it actually sounds pretty good obviously no lyrics in it there's no singing in it or anything like that um it's just kind of like drums and um, percussion stuff and I've listened to this when I'm on a walk and it's honestly just for some reason, I don't know whether it was something, some other factor involved, but listening to this really just made me have ideas. It's the kind of music, and you might understand this if you listen to a lot of music and also think a lot whilst you're listening. 
Um, when you're listening to music with lyrics in it, it can be you know quite hard to kind of think as well because you're sort of listening to what they're saying. But when I was listening to this kind of music, it's like music you can listen to and think about totally different concepts and ideas at the same time. And it can even complement those ideas and kind of expand on them a little bit. So it's a super great kind of style of music to listen to if you need to be quite creative. Uh, and then the second type of music, which I've tried briefly, but I've not done it really a lot, it's called Binaural Beats. So you can just find this on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. You'll be able to find a playlist, type in Binaural Beats. And these are um, kind of like ambient sounds, very like low key. Um, and it's designed to basically improve your productivity whilst you're listening to this. Um, and Andrew Huberman talks about this as well on his podcast. So it's like science backed. They've done studies on this and it does improve people's like output and productivity and concentration focus. So if you have got some big like task you need to do, whether it's like scripting a video or editing or like you writing some essay or something, you could always stick on some binaural beats if you do want some sound and you don't want to be in complete silence. But just, just know that being in complete silence when you're doing some like task that involves focus is the best scenario. Another tip I'll give you and something that's helped me especially with the gym and lifting weights is actually listening to very very fast heavy uh, metal so I do I am like a bit of a metal fan I do like death metal and stuff like that it's obviously not going to be for everyone and you guys might not like it but anything kind of fast this could be like dubstep or like uh, some fast like house tunes or uh, drum and bass when you're at the gym if you can listen to something fast and aggressive just has like a fast tempo and um, that's going to really help with your workouts I've got to the point now where I'm when I'm working out I can definitely tell the difference between when I don't have my headphones on and when I do with like fast music on now we talked about this at the start you can kind of get into this thing where you end up switching between the songs and putting different songs on all the time what I'd recommend you do is just make a playlist in whatever it is you use Spotify Apple Music and just put all your fast death metal songs in there and have like maybe 20 or 30 songs in there and just literally shuffle the playlist when you start at the gym put your headphones on and don't touch your phone again for the rest of the workout just concentrate on the workout and i find for me anyway that listening to like really fast heavy aggressive music um, really helps me in the gym and then just some final thoughts on just music in general i know a lot of people in the self-improvement space have been talking about like music is bad for you and you stop listening to music now what i'd say to that is you could stop listening to music and obviously do like be more productive you could maybe you know get a better night's sleep you could maybe think more clearly and have better kind of mental um, recollection and things but for me i think the two biggest kind of needle movers for that for like mental health and for um productivity and focus the two biggest needle movers are 100 your diet and your sleep so as long as you can get um, your diet right i.e not eating loads of carbs mainly trying to eat proteins and fats and just you know not eating a shit ton of carbs that's mainly the main thing for diet just lower how many carbs you eat that will improve your focus and then good sleep you know get morning sunlight don't be looking at bright lights before you go to bed go to bed at a reasonable time don't drink loads of water before you go to bed and if you can just sort those two things out have good diet and good sleep then that is going to be like 95 percent of the work done for your mental like clarity focus cognition how you feel that sort of thing the music might enhance that like not listening to music might enhance that by like two or three percent something like that um, but like for me that's not worth it for the trade-off of just like the pure pleasure that i get from listening to music when i'm on a walk or listening to the music when i'm at work or when i'm you know sometimes if i've got some really kind of like a, a task to do that isn't quite that important you know maybe i'm just sort of um, not scripting videos but maybe just coming up with some video ideas and kind of just thinking on the fly it'd be it's nice to put some instrumental music on for me i mean i have stopped listening to lyric, lyrics kind of in music now um it's mainly instrumentals and um, so that, that, that's kind of the main thoughts I have on it. It's like it's not really worth that extra little bit of optimization for your self improvement and to kind of get rid of the, the joy because I get a lot of joy from listening to music. I love doing it. So for me, it's not really worth the trade off for you. It might be different. And that's pretty much my thoughts on music um, and some tips for you and suggestions of what kind of music to listen to if you are trying to you know, if you, if you have noticed that you've spent five months on Spotify in the last year and you try to th sort of think about maybe this is affecting my uh, mental health, uh, well, then this video might have helped you in some way, possibly. Um, so, yeah, hope it did. And uh, remember, just improve yourself by 1% every day and you will get there. See ya.